Hi, I'm Craig Calvin with Pentley Systems. Today I'm going to show you how the new catchment delineation tool can automatically create catchment areas for catch basins based on a digital terrain model. This powerful tool provides accurate results and will save you time. It was introduced with the release of the Connect Edition versions of Sewer Gems, Civil Storm, StormCAD, and SewerCAD. Here I have my hydraulic model open and I've already attached a terrain model. Catch basins and conduits have already been placed in appropriate locations. I'll select all catch basins by using the Select by Element tool on the Home tab. Now all I have to do is right click on the plan view and select Update Catchments from Inlets. In a few seconds all of the associated catchments are created and linked to the corresponding catch basins. If I uncheck the terrain model I can see the separate catchments better. Now I can review the catchment areas to see where I want to make some changes. I don't like this distribution of catchment areas and would like to remove one of the inlets. First I'll reconnect the conduit so that I don't have to recreate it afterwards. Now I can delete the catchment and catch basin. Now I can just right click on the downstream catch basin and then select update catchments for inlets. Now I would like to move this catch basin to the right. I'll open up my Terrain Models Manager and then make sure that Run Catchment Delineation is enabled. Now I'll select the Downstream Trace tool to get a better idea of the slope around that area. Now that I have a pretty good idea of where the area slopes to, all I have to do is click and drag the catch basin to the new location. As you can see the catchment boundaries are automatically updated. I don't need the downstream trace lines anymore so I'll click the downstream trace drop down arrow and click clear trace results. It looks like the bottom catchment area is too large so I want to add an inlet and divide the area. First, I'll perform a quick downstream trace to see where the new catch basin should be placed. Now that I have a good idea of where the area slopes to, I can turn off the downstream trace. I want to make sure that the catchment delineation tool is enabled. Now I can select catch basin from the layout tab and decide where I want to place my catch basin. As you can see, the catchment for that catch basin has been automatically created. And now I can just right click on the downstream catch basin, select update catchments for inlets. As you can see, the new catchment delineation tool is very powerful and can save a lot of time. I hope you found this video useful. Additional information on the catchment delineation tool can be found in the hydraulics and hydrology section of Bentley Communities and in the help documentation. Thank you for your time.